Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Latia or LB and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the August Curlbox. Curlbox is a subscription service and they send you natural hair care products every month. This month's box contains products from the Hibiscus Honey line from Eden Body Works. The products that we were sent includes the Curl Hydration Shampoo, and this shampoo is supposed to gently cleanse and nourish your hair, as well as add moisture and softness to give your curls an extra boost of hydration. We were also sent the Curl Hydration Conditioner, and this product is supposed to instantly work to strengthen, detangle, and protect your hair strands. It also claims to enhance natural softness, boost curls, and tame frizz. The next product is the blow dry cream and this acts as a heat protectant and it's supposed to give you all day long frizz control for a sleek smooth look. And it says that your hair should be at least 60% dry before blow drying. The box also contains the hair tonic which is supposed to transform dry, brittle, dull, lifeless hair. It says that it has a high potency concentration of nutrients to make hair more manageable and healthy looking. Also included is a hydration custard and it is designed for thicker textures of wavy, curly, and kinky hair to lock in moisture, give definition, and also add shine. Now this product is perfect for me because you know that my hair is very thick and I love thick products so I would definitely be giving this product a try. For now, I'm going to go ahead and show you all a demonstration of how I use the shampoo and the conditioner. I'm in the shower and I decided to go ahead and just section my hair into two sections because it's easier to work with my hair when I'm washing it that way. So I added the, con um, I added the shampoo excuse me, to my hand and then I added it to the first section, focusing first on the roots of my hair and massaging it into my scalp. I then worked my way down to the ends of my hair and then I repeated this process for the other side. This product lathers up so nicely. Like sometimes I have problems with the first wash when I'm trying new products. It doesn't really lather up all that great, but this product definitely lathered up very well on the first go round. So that was great for me. After washing it out the first time though, I did go ahead and wash it a second time just to make sure that my hair and my scalp were both nice and clean. After rinsing the shampoo out of my hair, I then added the conditioner to my hair, still keeping my hair in those two sections. I used a lot of the conditioner for each section of my hair because the conditioner wasn't as thick as I anticipated it to be, but that was okay. After I pumped it in and worked it in initially into my hair, I then went ahead and um, detangled my hair using my tangle teaser. And y'all, let me tell you, I just got this tangle teaser in the mail. I had to order a new one because my old one is on its last leg, and I'm so happy that my tangle teaser game in time just in time for this video back to what i was saying though this um, conditioner was not as thick as i hoped it to be and it also did not have as much slip as i wish that it did nonetheless my hair was very easy to detangle using my tangle teaser so after i detangled and got all of the knots out of my hair i went ahead and twisted um, the section that i was finished with and then i did the same process for the other side of my hair after I was done conditioning and detangling my hair, I made sure to twist up both sections. And although this is a washout conditioner, I did end up leaving it in my hair for about five minutes just to let it work a little bit more of its magic. After those five minutes were up, I went ahead and rinsed it out of my hair. And let me tell y'all, I was surprised because like I said, this product was not as thick as I thought it was gonna be. And it also did not have as much slip as I thought it was gonna have. However, my hair was so well detangled, I was able to run my fingers straight through my hair after I rinse this product out if you've been watching my channel then you have heard me say a few times how I have I'm very sensitive to smells I cannot use hair products that have a very strong scent to them but these these products smell so good like I could really just sit here and just smell it all day I don't exactly know what hibiscus smells like but this stuff smells good and if this is what hibiscus smells like then sign me up and get me some hibiscus okay <laughs> but um yeah so the shampoo and the conditioner actually smell just alike which is great when you are you know using a line obviously all the products should smell the same if they're in the same line um like i was saying the shampoo did lather up very nicely on both the first and the second wash so this shampoo yeah is definitely staying in my collection now this conditioner this is how much i used 
and I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but I promise y'all, I had to pump this thing so many times just to get enough product to like coat my hair nicely and to um, get it to how I wanted it to be. Um, so. I mean, the consistency was decent. I think in the, earlier in the video, I said that it wasn't thick enough, but I actually think that the consistency, you know, was pretty good. It's just that it did not have enough slip for me, but I mean, it did do a very good job um, with detangling my hair, which is one of the claims. It says that it's supposed to instantly work to detangle your hair. So I think it definitely did that. But moving on, I'm going to go ahead and um, start blow drying my hair. And as an added bonus, I will be trimming my hair. So you guys will see how I trim my hair when I have it blow dried. Um, yeah, so it does say that your hair has to be 60% dry, which I'm pretty sure my hair is by this point. Because it's been, well this side's a little, still a little, a little wet, but... I think it will be okay. I'm actually gonna start on the right side of my head because my curls are tighter on the right, so I wanna make sure that I blow dry um, that side first. So to use this, you're basically supposed to section your hair and then apply one or two pumps, blow dry, and then use a round brush to shape and set your style. Um, but I won't be using a round brush because I'll be using this um, to blow dry my hair. And this is the Revlon. Um, blow dryer i did a full review on this blow dryer so if you want to see that it will be linked above make sure you check that out but let's go ahead and get this blow drying started my hair is now completely blow dried um, as you can see my ends are pretty raggedy i am in no way a hairdresser nor am i a professional and um the reason why i'm not really like tripping off of me just dusting the ends of my hair by myself is because i wear my hair curly most of the time anyway so if it's not straight it's okay um but yeah i'm not gonna go ham whatsoever <laughs> i am just going to dust my ends similar to the way that um, i did in my previous video where i showed you all how i trim my hair so if you're interested in seeing that be sure to check it out i will link it above but pretty much all i'm doing is taking a section of hair and then using my detangling comb i'm just combing out any knots that may be in my hair and then i am taking hair shears i do not use regular scissors on my hair ever i only use hair shears so i am going to take my hair shears and just kind of trim the ends a bit um like i said i'm not going to trim too much just enough to where i feel like you know my ends are looking a little healthier So I only cut this much of my hair off, which really isn't a lot at all, at least in my opinion is not, but my hair already looks better at the ends, so yeah. And if you are afraid of cutting your hair, anything like that, trimming your hair, then please don't. I do not want to be the reason <laughs> why anyone is like, oh, I cut my hair off, I tried to follow your video. Not my fault, not my fault. So as you can see, the cut is pretty even. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue this process. Also, the reason why I decided to do this on blow dried hair is one, I was already blow drying my hair anyway. And two, I feel as though whenever I trim my hair, when I have twists in, I can't really see like the split ends as well. So this is just a way that kind of helps me see my split ends a little better. So this is all of the hair that I cut off. It's really not a lot at all. And you can see just how like scraggly and just 
bad. <laughs> how bad those parts of my hair looked. And although there probably is some more hair that needs to be cut, you can see that my hair actually still has a nice shape. Um, it's not, you know, too uneven or anything like that. So I am happy with what I have done. And before I start my twist, I do wanna say that the blow dry cream actually worked very well. My hair is poofy now, but it's really humid in my house. So yeah, my hair just poofed right back up after all of that blow drying that I did. So I mean, it is what it is. That's natural hair, right? You gotta take the good with the bad and just keep it pushing. I did run my fingers through my hair and found a couple of single strand knots. So I am gonna get rid of these that I feel. Okay, cool. So I'm going to do like jumbo flat twist. I'm not gonna do regular twists. I'm gonna do flat twist this time. I haven't done a flat twist in a while and I haven't done flat twist on blow dried hair. I don't think ever. So this will be a first for both you and I. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to first just start by parting my hair to the side because I do want like I want a deep part deep side part this time and then yeah I'm just gonna start flat twisting and to flat twist my hair I am just going to use the honey custard now it does say that this should be applied on freshly washed hair um, so I'm assuming it's supposed to be used for like a wash and go but, excuse me, it smells good and I feel like this would be okay to use as my styling cream. But, I mean, only way to find out is to try it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make like a big flat twist on this side. Just one in this section. So I went ahead and I combed out the remaining knots. This is the texture of the custard. So it is thick, just like a custard. And I'm just gonna use a little bit because I really don't wanna use too, too much and make my hair revert. So I'm just going to apply this to my hair, starting at the ends and working my way up to my roots. And I'm going to start my flat twist. So this is the first flat twist. It does look small and I'm probably gonna end up doing it because I don't quite like the way that it looks, but we will see once I'm finished if I feel like <laughs> going back through all of that. And I did twist the end just to make sure that it didn't unravel. So this is what the end looks like. My hair is completely twisted up now, so I am just going to put on my satin scarf and then go to bed. Now, I won't be taking my hair down until I get to Seattle, so um, I will get on camera for the takedown process, but I apologize in advance for the lighting because my setup will be different. So yes, I will see y'all in the AM. Thank you. 